Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Witcher Circus, and today we have a new background, so today we have a cat background meme, which is something that someone from the Discord server made, someone called Annie, and it's just, <laughs> ah, stress, the little kitty there with the stress signet on top and getting afflicted, I do find it quite funny. So today we are playing against Father Nicholas, so they are going to be playing uh, with a stress team, this is actually... Kind of like an exhibition match, I think. Not, not what you would call it an exhibition match, but I think they might have desynced because they sent me a message, so... It was indeed a desync. That can happen every so often with the Witcher Circus, but on to the actual match we go here. So we're playing with the Jester WD today. Now they actually have the cursor moving around, so I'm pretty sure this one's gonna work. So we get to go first again, which is definitely quite good, because I just want to drop a battle ballot here, make sure all my abilities are gonna hit. Even if my opponent drops balls through with the battle ballot, I will have more than enough accuracy to hit all their characters, and that's obviously what we want here. So this is actually someone from the comments, I'm pretty sure, because they suggested I play a team like this, at least I think so. And we'll, we're gonna be playing it alright, we're gonna see if we can make it work. So first things first, we probably want to use our Crusader to stun. So I'm gonna drop a stun here on Sip Abomination, hopefully do some damage. Only 7, but that's gonna have to be enough for today. I would prefer having WD in this situation because I could probably just pull the Occultus and have a good time. Because I don't see I don't see a very tanky carding character. I feel like we would, we would have a, a good time if I did that, but that's risky <laughs> because there's sniper shot into finale after something like that. But my opponent might not be counting on that. Now I could genuinely drop a beast file here, and it's not a terrible play. It's it's interesting how that works, but I could genuinely drop a beast file, but I'm just gonna drop a stun first and then I might drop drop a beast file. Because then my stun chances won't be confirmed, so this is uh, this is how I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I could have dropped the beast file first and then the stun, but then I wouldn't have to repost, so let's just do it this way and, uh, and we'll just have fun like this. So the problem with the Jester WD is, oh, actually they go for Defender, interesting. The problem with this team is that you actually don't have pulls, while you would normally have uh, with the Bounty Hunter. So it is a bit rough for you if um, if you are getting used to those pulls and to those confirmed death blows and also those marks to just get those one shots. If you don't have those uh, things, they look kind of, uh, kind of weird to you, but... Will make do, right? So here we're gonna drop a beast file because you know if you put my abomination in position two against two characters with abysmal blight resistance, I will just drop the beast file, especially with 20 RS net. Like I have pretty decent hit chances on there. So they're gonna go for a pawn. My arbals does it work? Yes, it does. Do I mind? Uh, mm, a little bit, but it's not the end of the world because they haven't dropped a bulwark and they haven't dropped Bell Debuff, so I'm actually doing a lot of damage to their frontline. Now, sadly, there is a push, which is definitely sadly because I would love to drop Holy Lands on my Crusader and just get a kill very, very early. But I guess I'll just. Oh no, I'm probably still gonna do it because we're gonna go for a slam on someone. Who are they gonna go for? They don't have any accuracy, they're gonna go for a slam on the Abomination. Does it work? Uh, most likely, and yes, it does work. Abomination is now in the back, which he was usually in position 1, now he's in position 4. How did that happen? Well, this is how the Voter Circus is. A little bit of disruption from here and there, and now he's already having a bad time. So this Crusader isn't quite dropping down to 0, but he's close, and I'm gonna drop a Dirk 7 on him, and then I'm gonna have a 60% chance of getting a kill. Which, you know, if it works, it's pretty much GG, because then I still have Finale ready to drop on this Abomination. But if it doesn't work, then he can stay alive, he's gonna drop a heal, then, uh, then I'll drop him back down to zero, then the occultist drops a heal, and the match just keeps on going. Or I could drop a finale here, but I think you'd generally have to be a bit crazy to do that. So I'm just gonna drop a Dirk Sam here. I don't wanna relinquish finale pressure this early, and just let my opponent off the hook here, even if it would give me my, my abomination action, I'd rather just spend the turn transforming or something like that. Honestly, then just dropping the finale there. Though there was a, there was a reason to go for it because now I'm kind of screwed. They're gonna heal, so this is gonna be a little bit rough now to, to kill this crusader because we do fail the 60% death blow. So yeah, let's see if we can stay still stay alive here. They go for a very interesting play. I I wouldn't have done that. They are veterans, so they're not the most experienced player, and you can see like going for a risky move like that, which you definitely shouldn't. But they don't get punished for it, and now it's definitely worth it going for a heal. Now I definitely would. If they go for a heal right now, they heal for like, I don't know, crit 40. It's pretty much GG because I just have way too much stress on my side. Uh, it's a 10. It's a 10. It's definitely a bit, but it's not. A, it's no crit 40. We're gonna drop a stunning blow here on the Abomination. Not that much damage. But what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna 
manacles this abomination, hopefully do 5 damage, we should do 5 damage unless they bellow here, and then we're just gonna get a Dark Snap Death Ball on him the next round, and then we're gonna finale the Crusader, or they can go for a guard, which is a smart move. They do remove the guard on the Occultist, but honestly the Occultist is fine at this point. Could drop a Beast Foul there, could also drop a stun. I will opt on the stun, and that was definitely great that we got the crit there, because now he's dropping down to zero. That's really freaking good, actually. That is really good. We are taking a lot of stress on our Jester here. We might get the Irrational Act Out Finale on... No, not of course, because we haven't killed a single character, but we might get that uh, that funny Act Out. I'm gonna go for a Sniper Shot here on the Occultist. If we had gotten a crit there or a very high roll, then we have Immediate Finale Pressure. We do have Immediate Finale Pressure. I can do enough damage. I would have 14 to 25, of course, with that uh, with that thing there, I don't have 40 to 25, I have like 12 to 22, something like that. Oh, if you're gonna pull there, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I'm, no questions asked, just drop the finale. 12 to 22, and it is enough, thankfully. We could have failed that, but with the crit chance, sometimes you just have to take risks, and that is the risk I chose to take, because with the abomination in the back, like, it will just be... A bit too much not to go for that finale at that point. So the Crusader is dropping down to zero. I am going to drop another Beast file to keep <laughs> to keep putting this Man at Arms closer to zero. Do I want to do it immediately? That was the question. Probably not. What I probably want to do here is just stun the Man at Arms, and then if they click the Crusader, I'll hit the Crusader. Oh, but they're going to stun me. They're going to thwart my plans. I no longer have flares, so I'm just going to have to suck it up. Hmm. Well, they're probably going to. They have another transformation. I kind of want to prevent it. Not gonna lie. I kind of want to prevent it. You know what? I'm gonna go for. I kind of want to drop this as well. So many good moves. So many good moves. Which one shall I do? I'm gonna transform and slam the abomination here. It's gonna. It's gonna put him still in position one, which is actually perfect for me because now I can still hit him. And there's no zealous from the crusader. And he is also not guardable anymore, you can't heal, so next round I can't go for a Dirk Snap. Before I go for a Dirk Snap though, I'm gonna have to Flare, just to get rid of the debuffs and uh, get rid of the daze as well. Of course I can't get rid of the sun because I have to use my Crusader action right now, which is sad, but such is the way of the Butcher Circus. So yeah, my opponent definitely had to go for a guard on the call to keep the guard up, or else, you know, I just go... Sniper shot finale. With my gesture in position 1, there wasn't really any way they could have prevented it, either from, apart from like going for a stun or going for a slam, but I guess they just didn't see too much value in either of those. What I could do right now is I could just not flare and do something else, but no, I'm gonna flare here. We have to kill this abomination. If we can kill him before the second transformation, the game is definitely over. If we can't, then my opponent still has a chance, because transforming does a lot of stress. It does a freaking whole lot of strength, so we don't want that to happen. That's actually going to clear the debuff, so I'm actually going to have to slam to reapply that debuff, or else the men at arms can just guard, so you can see that it did, uh, did clear the debuff there. So we're going to have to slam here, reapply the, the debuff, and hopefully get the 60% this time around. We're irrational, but we got irrational after the finale, so we can't go for the irrational act out finale on the corpse anymore, sadly. <laughs> sadly for my opponent. And here they're just gonna bellow, do some stress, we're getting closer to those afflictions, but we're, we're not quite there. And I'm gonna have to be honest, the team that my opponent is playing is decent, but I don't really love it, because this is the matchup it should win, right? It, it should win against damage. It has it has a man at arms with full tankiness, it has a cultist to disrupt, it has a cultist to heal, crusader to heal, abomination to transform and do stress. Like this team has a lot of the tools that you need to, to have to deal with the damage teams, but it, you know, it's still losing. Uh, it's still losing, even being very, very lucky as it's been, surviving all these death blows, and it's probably still gonna lose. It might win now because of actually surviving that death blow, but if I was playing something like any of the fragile stress teams, I think it would be very difficult for me to win this match. Now it's gonna be a bit more difficult for me to uh, for me to win it. Though, I'll be honest. They transform, which is interesting. I probably could have just healed, but at the same time, transforming is fine. This Holy Lance probably won't be a death blow, and you know, if you get the second transformation off, you know, who cares if you die, right? But yeah, we have to keep the Crusader alive here. Thankfully he's not afflicted yet, he might even go Virtuous, which would just be lovely. How much I want him to go Virtuous, you, know, you have no idea how much I want that, come on, give me that Virtue. And we go Selfish, oh, that's, that's not the worst, but it's pretty bad, <laughs> yeah, it is pretty bad. Finally a death blow, but it comes with a crit, which is good and bad, it's... 
it's good because, uh, you know, it's a bit of stress ceiling and, you know, it's a kill, right? And now he can hit them with Bola, can hit both characters. But at the same time, it's bad because now the Crusader is back in the position to Zealous. Our biggest advantage here is that the Crusader is very low on HP, and if it's only the Men at Arms by the end, Men at Arms can definitely 1v4. We've all seen it happen before. The Men at Arms just uh, going uh, absolutely wild with, those, with that 1v4 potential, but. I very much doubt that will that will happen in this situation. So I'm gonna click here because I don't take enough stress. I am quite aware of the not enough stress I take. I'm just gonna drop a Dirk Snap on the Crusader here and we're just gonna take him out. Even though the Men Arms can definitely 1v4, if there's a Crusader with 100 uh, stress only, I really doubt the Men Arms will be able to, to do that, so I don't have too many concerns here. They might be going for a guard, but after they guard I'll Bola and then I'll have and then I'll just have the, the heal on there. So I'll I'll do the heal first just so we keep the, the gesture alive so we have the Dirk Snap pressure. Unless no selfish doesn't do an act out. Oh thank you irrational thank you. Very very much welcome. And we do six damage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How much prot do you have? 60 prot, that's fine. This is definitely uh, this is definitely a kill Jester turn, and now we're going to go for the 55. We do not get it. But that's, there's a knockback, so there's no Zealous, that's good. And we probably want to heal ourselves here. Selfish, don't you there? Okay, good. Selfish did not move back. Oh, we still had another transform! Why did we knock him back? Oh, that sucks so much. That is so bad. Uh, okay. Okay, it's not the end of the world, though. We can go for this. Can you imagine if they actually save this match? Yeah, that would, that would be unbelievable if they actually managed to win this. Absolutely unbelievable. You know, the, the RNG is definitely has definitely been on their side. I haven't I don't think I've gotten that many crits so far. How many crits did I get this match? How many? I don't think I got a single one. Did I? I don't remember getting a single influential crit this match, so I'm pretty sure I didn't. Well right now I'm gonna drop a stun on the corpse, so so thank you Selfish, very much appreciated. How many Selfishes do I have? I have two Selfishes and one Fearful, that is a horrible lineup, absolutely horrible lineup. They're gonna go for a heal there and oh my god. Okay, how many battle debuffs do I have? Uh, not that many, actually, not that many. Fearful, don't you there. Okay, good. And we're gonna shoot for three, three damage on the Fearful. Oh my goodness, okay, this is a beast smile turn, so at least we apply the Blight, right? 95? Yeah, we do get the Blight at the very least. This Blight is gonna save our ass, because it's gonna do way more Blight than, and way more damage than what my opponent is, uh, is actually able to tank here. That's, it's our saving grace at this point, essentially. They're doing so much stress to my side with uh, those freaking Bellows. They're gonna Holy Lance here, which is suspicious, but it's not the most suspicious move. This is definitely a transform turn, yes, thank goodness. And let's transform, slam that, uh, slam that Crusader to Oblivion. Three to six, by the way. That could have dealt three. <laughs> can you imagine doing three there? Well, at least now we can kill the Crusader, or at least be very likely to kill this Crusader. Once he's gone, it's just a one v three, and this Man at Arms might even go afflicted from what we've done to him so far. So I would say our win chances are good. They're not great, but they're good. I'm actually gonna get afflicted. I mean, I'm actually gonna have a heart attack after that, so... Uh, oh, no, it's not enough. Uh, yeah, it's not enough because the medic's full point, but she just passes anyway, so who cares. And, uh, yeah, okay, she's gone regardless. Okay, I see how it is. All right, all right. Well, it should be fine after we get this death one, which we finally do after four attempts on that Crusader, I believe. So that, that took ages, but he's finally gone. And now a bellow shouldn't do enough stress because I'll just be able to heal, and then I'll be able to stay alive. At least that's uh, that's my hope here. Unless there's an act out from one of the other characters, then she's dead. Oh, actually, it's not enough. The medic's full plate is definitely saving me here, so... E please don't say no. Okay, thank you, Fearful. And she shouldn't actually take a heart attack here because... Uh, because she has enough anti-stress after the heart attack recovery. Well, you're definitely gonna have heart attack, but... It's fine, I can just uh, go for a self-heal after it, and then I'll have so much... Uh, ouch! And then I'll have um, a very low amount of stress, and I'll also have minus stress received because of the heart attack recovery. So don't misclick, don't misclick, Shep. And now, yeah, I have minus 15% stress taken, and I'm also quite low on stress. That's both my heals used, though. So that's not, uh, that's not lovely. 
I could flare here just to remove that daze. Uh, there isn't really much else I can do, honestly, with this arbalus at this point. So let's just do this and just uh, keep on keep on going, trying to take this man arms out. It's gonna be rough, that's for sure. But healing characters are really our saving grace here. Also stuns. Hopefully, I get a stun somewhere. So that's enough stress, she's having another heart attack, the pacemaker is on, and that's another one over there, okay. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Uh, I might go for your action first, actually. I might go for a stun, and just play accordingly. Oh, selfish. Selfish, 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 okay. No stun, no 50-50, no justice. And now I'll try to go for a double heal. Uh, hopefully it works. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, self heal then. Yeah, he shouldn't take enough stress. It should be close, but he shouldn't take enough stress. Oh, selfish. Oh, selfish, selfish, selfish. Thank you very much for that act out. Very much appreciated. He shouldn't do enough stress, yeah. Or, no, he does actually. Yeah, he does do enough stress. Pitfighter's helm for the win, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> They're all having heart attacks. There's extra stress everywhere. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, okay. It's not the end of the world, though. I can go for a stun here. Ah, thank you for the extra stress, dude. Go for the stun. Fail the 50 50. Okay. And I'll just heal myself here and I'll be fine. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. Father Nicholas says, no justice in this world, eh? Absolutely no justice. There is absolutely no justice in this world. I'm slowly gonna lose this match. Was this a 1v4? I think it was. Well, I'm gonna heal that for sure. Oh, fearful, no! Okay, I need the 50-50 now. Oh, you idiot! He, he files the corpse! He files the corpse! What is this? What is this? Where is the justice in this? Oh my god, okay. Well, that's the abomination gone. It's gonna be down to a to a 1v1 that I'm very unlikely to lose. Uh, I mean, I'm very unlikely to win. You know why, you know why I love caltrops? This is why I love caltrops. Men at arms would be dead. But no, I don't have caltrops. I'm just dying. Oh, and I take extra stress too. Oh my god, it's definitely over. Okay. Ah. Uh... He's so close to the affliction, but he's not there, you know, if, he only, if only we had the affliction on him, we would have been able to get the stuns. I'm, I'm still playing, I'm still playing, there's still a chance I win this, albeit it's a very, very small. Okay, not a heart attack, barely not a heart attack, but now the bola is doing two damage. Oh my god, yeah, we got fearful, we got the worst possible afflictions, the worst possible act outs. Actually, no, the corpses are still there. He's gonna bolster, what a madman. What a madman to actually bolster here. It's not a bad play by any means, because, um... Oh, that's actually an affliction. Oh, okay, that could save us. It's not a bad play, because he would have just spelled, and I would have healed, and it would have taken a crazy amount of bellows. But he goes paranoid. Uh, is the cor are the corpses gone now? Please stay. No, Crusader. Paranoid. He commands! He actually commands! Can I win this? Come on. Fearful. There's only one act out you can do, right? Four damage, that's not bad. That's not bad by any means. Oh, can you imagine if I actually win this? Paranoid, I need a pass. I need another command. Okay, that doesn't do anything though, sadly. This is so unbelievably close, come on. I'm feeling like this cat right now. I've been feeling like this cat for the past 10 minutes, not gonna lie. Okay. No! No! Fearful! Why? Why do you do this? Why do I not get abusive on my Arbalus? My opponents always get abusive. Okay, that's the bellow. I'm at this door. It's not enough stress, but... One more bellow and I'm gone! I need a paranoid pass. Oh, I need like three paranoid passes. Maybe more. Oh, it's so close. It's so freaking close. It's not gonna be enough though. Oh, they don't get an act out. Yeah, it's Bellum and it's GG. Dodge! No, no dodge. <laughs> they, they commanded it, remember, Champ? Yeah, they did. Well, GG's to my opponent. That was one very epic match, which I don't think I should have lost, but... Oh, well, you lose some, you win some. But that was definitely quite an epic performance. Congrats to them for just playing this one on. And, uh, and actually taking down the Chester WD here, even if it was uh, even if it was down to the wire. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.